It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading and today we're in the garage and we are getting ready for the 2023 maple syrup season. Uh, you know, I'm kind of excited about this year. We got a good amount of snow and hopefully uh, we're gonna get a good crop this year. But last weekend I thought I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna tap some trees. I went and I got my still MS250 with the whole form of uh, Farmer Tech drill attachment and uh, I went out there tried to start it in this thing I just couldn't get it running it was a frustrating event you know I thought I'm getting it ready I was ready to go but I just couldn't get the uh, drill up and running so nevertheless I said I am going to order myself a new carburetor I ordered it it came in we're going to install the new carburetor on the MS250 get it up and running because this weekend I am going to start tapping some trees. So you're going to start seeing some videos with maple syrup going. We're going to get the chainsaw up and running, get it ready to go next weekend. So let's go. This is a, um, a still MS250. It was a great chainsaw. And I've been super happy with the uh, drill attachment. You know, having a drill attachment, going out in the woods, it is super, super handy. Uh, you can tap a lot of trees quickly with it for sure. But every year I've had this chainsaw, it's been hard to start. So I don't know if the carburetor is a little gummed up to begin with or what it is. It's always been a tough uh, chainsaw to start after the winter. So part of it's my fault. I need to get a little more organized and put the conditioner in the fuel, run them dry. And uh, probably the next year the thing would fire up. So I ordered the carburetor off Amazon. Uh, I don't know this company. I'm sure it's a good carburetor. Uh, the one go-to company I always go to is HEPA Carburetor. I'll put the link to their um, a website in the description. I've always been happy with them um, because this company, I don't know, I was able to get it quickly, so I thought I'm just gonna order it, but HEPA Carburetors are definitely better. So The kit comes with a spark plug, an air filter assembly, the carburetor and some fuel lines and everything. I don't think I want to change all the fuel lines. We may change um, the actual filter in that, but I think that's as far as we're going to go. We'll keep those parts for extras. Okay, so let's start at it. So the first thing we're going to do is pull off the air filter. I have an 8 mil socket. Loosen off the uh, nuts that hold the air breather on. I bought this chainsaw about four or five years ago and I used it as a chainsaw for a little bit but when I saw that uh, Holzforma had a kit for a uh, gas drill I thought that's just going to be really handy for doing the maple syrup so ever since then this has just basically been a um, a drill chainsaw and partially when you don't run it enough it becomes a problem so the first thing we're going to do is look at the uh, new carburetor make sure that it has all the same levers which it does it is a little different they have the um, high and lower just a little bit off to the side um, but it should work now we're going to flip over the chainsaw and there is screw down in there is a T25. You unscrew it and it allows you to take the linkage out uh, off the carburetor a lot easier. that lifts up and it just pops off don't lose all those uh, linkages in that so in here you have the linkage and it sits in a groove and you just kind of pop it out so there's one important thing you do before you uh, take the line off the carburetor you open it and relieve the pressure close it again if you don't when you take this line off it'll just shoot gas out at you okay so i pry up on here and we pop a 
and we pop that out and then just slides out. We'll set this down. And now the carburetor itself, you just pull it off the studs. Pull the fuel line off. Ooh, see, there was a little bit of residue pressure and it was still pushing it out. Uh, okay, so there you go. The carburetor is out. I'm just going to remove these linkages. Okay, so it's really important. I wear gloves uh, partially because I don't want uh, gas on my hands. Uh, gas, we've all had gas on our hands and using it, but our bodies have an amazing ability to soak up um, gas and it collects in your organs and it's really important to try to limit the amount of gas exposure to your skin as possible because it's all toxic, you know? So that's why I wanna wear gloves. So now we're gonna remove the old gasket. It's intact and everything, but the other one came with one, so we're gonna change that out. Okay, so I'm gonna match it up. Make sure it's the same. Yeah, that looks good. So there you go. Okay, so we got the new carburetor. It is really important to make sure that you clean out the tank. Uh, I know that the tank is clean on this one. I drained the fuel out of it. I put a new fuel filter um, and all the lines have been clean. I couldn't get it running with the old carburetor. So it's really important to do that um, because you can get a brand new carburetor and then you suck up all the junk that's in the tank. Uh, that's, it doesn't matter how good of a job you do. If you're going to plug up the new carburetor, that's not good either. Get the fuel line on. And then we just kind of slide it over and in place. We get this linkage, put it on there. And then here is your choke lever that goes into the hole in the choke lever. There you go. Snaps down into here. Okay, so there you go. This is your shut off, that. So then this slides into here. Make sure that all works. Okay, so we've got this linkage that goes down through here into the hole and you turn it and you make sure that it moves free. This lever and then it just clips into the hole here and pops in place. Make sure that everything moves free. Throw the cover back in place. And flip it over. There you go. Okay, so everything is in place. Everything should work. It comes with a whole new filter housing. I think I'm gonna use it. And put the eight mil screws back in. Make sure you tighten them evenly. These carburetors are not pre-adjusted. It is super important that when you get them installed that you adjust them correctly. Um, because if you don't adjust them correctly, you really can uh, burn out your saw. So you try to save a little bit of money by fixing your own stuff and then you run lean and then you're, you fry your piston. So it is super important no matter what, even if you have to get a friend over to that can adjust it, 
Uh, you really do need to uh, adjust it properly. And temperature changes how your chainsaw runs. If you're out there, minus 30, and get it adjusted. When you hit the summer, you probably have to adjust it again. Just a little bit anyways, um, if you notice that the saw is running a little hot. So let's fire it up and see if we can get it running. Okay, so let's see if she'll fire up. So it's super hard to show you guys how to adjust the carburetor, but basically I get it running, get it up to temperature, uh, and then I adjust the low idle till it'll kind of run good. You try to uh, go a little leaner, it dies. Go a little richer, it dies. You kind of put it somewhere in the middle. Uh, I tend to go a little more to the richer side on the idle. Then there's a throttle uh, RPM level. You adjust it till it'll actually, the drill bit will stop. So you keep playing with the low idle and keep adjusting it until it actually will stop and idle then the high you rev it full uh, you screw it in till it starts to go lean and die uh, die back a little bit you don't want to leave it in that condition too long you bring it back you feel it uh, start to make like a popping sound like it starts to die uh, on the screwed out position and it's basically you kind of count how far it is in between and you put it in the middle uh, I normally put it in the middle and then open it up just a little bit because I'd rather be rich than too lean uh, because uh, rich, you're not going to burn out your saw, but if you put it too lean, it's going to burn out the saw. So this weekend, we're going to get out there and tap the trees. I wish I would have been a little more organized and get this running uh, before I was wanting to tap trees, but we should have lots of time this weekend. Hopefully, I'll get about 100 uh, buckets out and really... A gas drill is the way to go. So uh, you're going to see lots of videos doing some maple syrup in the next little bit. So that's about enough for today. You guys have a good.